YouTube, Biker Mike here, coming back at you with another one. This video is going to be on doing some mower deck maintenance on my John Deere D170. But this will probably be very similar to a lot of John Deere models. Now, if you want to see the video on how to remove the mower deck, just click right there. That'll take you to that video, and you can watch how to get the mower deck off and also how to put the mower deck back on. So now that we got the mower deck off, I'm gonna show you how to get a bit of grease into those bearings. And also, I'm gonna show you how to remove the bearing seals. So what they actually did was put a bearing in the upper and lower part of the spindle, and you can see the grease fitting right there. But the problem is there's seals on both sides of the bearing, so you need to pop well, what I did was pop the seal off one side of the bearing on each of the bearings so that when I pump grease into the spindle, it actually goes into the bearings. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I've already done this one. I've done this idler pulley, this idler pulley, and I've also done this spindle. So I left these two to the last here. So I'm going to show you guys how to get a little bit of grease in these bearings to help prolong the life of them. So I'm gonna jump right into it here and show you guys what you need to do. So you're gonna need an impact gun to get these off. So I've got my half inch impact gun ready to go here with a 15 millimeter impact socket. And I'm just gonna take this pulley off. Once I put the gun in the right direction. So we got this pulley off now. I'm gonna take it over to the bench and I'm gonna clean up the seal area with just a toothbrush on both sides and some WD-40. Okay, so now that we got the seal area nice and clean, I'm gonna show you how to inject some grease in here with your grease gun. Now if you don't have one, you're going to need one of these, it's like a hypodermic needle and you can see it's got the zerk fitting to fit your grease gun on the other end. So you just want to be extra careful when you do this. So here I've got a little hobby screwdriver, just a flat bladed hobby screwdriver. I'm going to pop the seal up a little bit and then slide this needle down into the bearing. And then I'm going to hook the grease gun onto it and load this bearing up with some more grease. Hopefully you guys can see that, how I've got that positioned in there. I'm just going to hold my finger over the little open spot and then hook on the grease gun and pump the handle a bit while I fill this bearing up with a little bit more grease. Okay, you can see how much more grease I got inside that bearing. It worked its way out around this seal here and a little bit on the other side too, so I know there's lots of grease in there now. Now I'm just going to wipe it clean with a rag, spin the bearing around, work that grease in there. And it's ready to reinstall in the lawnmower. So now I'm going to show you how to set these bearings up inside the spindle so that you actually pump grease into them. Now I've already removed all the blades on the deck here to get this job done. So you want to remove the blades before you start doing any of this on the uh, spindles here. It should drop down nice and easy. Now I'm just going to clean up all this debris here. Okay, so now we got all that junk out of there. I'm gonna remove these four bolts with a 10 millimeter socket. And then that releases the whole spindle from the deck. Okay, I've got the spindle over here by the vise. 
Now we're gonna need to take this cap off the top of it and then take the shaft out of the spindle. And we'll set it aside. Now we're gonna need to knock these bearings out both sides of the spindle. So I'm just gonna set it in the vise. I'm just using this ratchet extension, but you can use a drift or whatever. It doesn't take much force to get them out. Okay, I've got the bearings cleaned up, the collar and the spindle on both sides. So I'm ready to take the seal off one side of the bearing on each bearing. And I'm just gonna pry that off with a screwdriver. And if you want, you can pack some more grease in there before you install it. And I'm gonna reinstall it with the remove seal side going down into it. Just like that. I'm going to lightly tap it back in and make sure it's fully seated with this impact socket. Flip the spindle over. Install the collar. Do the same thing to this bearing. And that's it. It's ready to go back on the deck. Now we pump grease in the grease fitting, it actually goes into the bearings. And that's it. So hopefully you liked that video. If you liked the video, like the video. Make sure you check out my other John Deere videos and my John Deere playlist. I've got a bunch of videos on it. I also got a bunch of videos on dirt bikes, snowmobiles. I'm into the power sports stuff. So if you're into that, make sure you check out those too. And if you need a tune-up kit for your lawn tractor, click the link down in the description. I'll leave a link where you can get a tune-up kit. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making more videos on this lawn tractor in the future. I'll be doing lots more power sports videos. So stay tuned guys and thanks for watching.